The Liberals are at it again, bringing yet another piece of legislation that will restrict Canadians' freedom of expression. This time, it's Bill C-11. The government claims this bill is about supporting Canadian culture and leveling the playing field. But what it actually does is remove freedom and choice away from you and puts more power and more control in the hands of government. In effect, Bill C-11 will put in place an internet czar, the CRTC, which will govern how easily creators, those who post, are able to make their content accessible online. It will also impact how easily viewers can find it. Let's start off by talking about the impact that this bill will have on those putting content online. The internet. It's this vast, infinite, and magical realm of possibility for creators and artists and others. It is the public square where we engage with one another through writing, audio, videos, images, etc. For many Canadians, socializing online is their new norm. I mean, think about it. Where did we spend the majority of our time during COVID? If passed, Bill C-11 will thwart our freedom in this space. The Liberals claim that bringing more government intervention will somehow boost Canadian culture. Well, that's just not true. More government control doesn't lead to creativity and innovation, ever. Freedom does. One of the biggest complaints we've heard from Digital First creators is that this bill will determine if their content is Canadian enough to be promoted. If the internet czar, known as the CRTC, approves it, their material will get promoted. But if the CRTC does not approve the material, they don't think it's Canadian enough, well, then it'll be hidden in some far off abyss of the internet. This puts the CRTC in charge of choosing which content creators get to be seen and heard and which don't. It's censorship. Let me talk about the negative impact that this will have on viewers now. I'm talking about the impact it'll have on you and me. Currently, YouTube curates material based on an individual's personal preferences. In other words, you get more of what you want. How great is that? It's curated for you. With Bill C-11, YouTube will no longer be able to curate in this way. Instead, the platform will be forced to put Canadian content, otherwise known as CanCon, in front of your eyeballs. Now, this is a problem. It's a problem for a few reasons. One, Canadian viewers know what they like and what they don't. They use their search bar to go find the stuff they want. Their desires should be respected rather than dictated to them. This doesn't even address the fact that there's a second problem, which is the definition of CanCon. And the definition, well, it's outdated. It's ludicrous. Let me give you an example. A bilingual Canadian sitting in his Montreal condo producing YouTube videos about maple syrup very Canadian, and Wayne Gretzky, very Canadian, while playing the national anthem in the background, doesn't get more Canadian than that, well, this individual won't make the cut. So, when the minister says that this bill will protect Canadian culture, what he's actually saying is that it will protect his version of Canadian culture. Here's the bottom line. Bill C-11 is a direct attack on digital first creators, those who are putting content online. It is also a direct attack on our choice as viewers. And it's an attack on the advancement of arts and culture in Canada in the 21st century. I'm asking for you to stand with me and to stand up for freedom by doing three things. One, write to the Heritage Minister and tell him to kill Bill C-11. Two, post on social media. Make this news go far and wide. And three, sign the petition, Kill Bill C-11. Dot CA.